Alright guys, getting some feedback so far on the course, and one of the things that people are saying is that in the beginning of the course I'm making use of a physical PLC, but I'm taking too long to introduce the PLC sim. Most of us do not have a, a physical PLC because they're crazy expensive right now, so you're going to be doing the course using PLC sim. And I will tell you that 95% of the course is made, being made use of the PLC sim rather than a physical PLC. Uh, in section five, I went through the configuring of a new Siemens PLC project, uh, but I showed you how to do that using a physical PLC. Uh, so I need to show you how to use a PLC sim. In the textbook, uh, that's also in section five here. Uh, this, you'll see that it says here that, you know, if you're going through and you're using a physical PLC, then keep using steps seven through 13. If you're using PLC sim, go to step 14. So if we go to step 14, it tells us exactly which uh, PLC to choose. And you'll see that uh, that if you have specific questions on PLC SIM, it might be best to skip ahead to section uh, 15. And in section 15, I'm going to describe PLC SIM in way more detail. But this video is just to kind of clear up some misconceptions that I've created uh, and get you on, up on your feet and ready to get through the basic portions of the, uh, of the course. So we're going to be making use of uh, this specific uh, S7-1200, uh, specifically the 1212C ACDC relay, and this model number, which is going to be the third one right here. You would have seen that in the video that I was doing, I used an unspecified CPU and then toned out to see which one I was actually connected to, and then it brought all the information in. Um, you don't have a physical PLC, so you can't do that. So let me, let me walk you through how to set up PLC SIM, anything that's going to mess you up along the way, and hopefully we'll get up and running and be able to start on the basic portion of the course. Okay, so obviously the first step is to open up your TA portal. Uh, at this point, we're going to create a new project. So come up here and create a new project. Uh, this one, I'm just going to say it's a PLC uh, SIM tutorial. Okay, we'll hit create. It takes a little bit of time on my computer to come in. Excellent. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to configure a device. And when this, when this window opens, we're going to add a new device. And at this point, uh, you would have found that I, when I looked at my Somatic S7-1200, when I clicked here and went to CPU, uh, then I was making use of this unspecified CPU. You can do that if you want, uh, but let's make sure that everybody has this, you know, this proper steps if you do not have a physical PLC. So we're coming here to CPU 1212C ACDC relay. That's the one that you'd get in the starter package. And we're going to use this one right here, the 60F7212-1BE400XB0. This is the third one in the list, and that's the exact one that I got when I got the, the starter package. Okay, we're going to add that in. Excellent. That brings up a very small image of our PLC, so let's go over here and to this 400%. Nice. Now we've got a decent view of the PLC that we would normally see right beside us. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on here and we're going to go to properties. So again, there's different portions. There's an analog card that can go in here. Uh, so go here on the main portion of the PLC, right click and go down to properties. And then here we're going to go to uh, the Ethernet addresses. So it's under Profina interface, Ethernet addresses. And for this course, I've given my PLC a, a an IP address of 192.168.0.10. Okay, with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Okay, um, at that point, I have an, I, an IP address, not for my physical PLC, but for my PLC SIM that I'm gonna make use of. The other thing I, might, I may have screwed up was uh, that in some of the videos, I was making use of a router, so I was at home, I didn't have an ethernet switch, so I was showing how to make use of a router in order to talk to uh, both your PLC and your HMI at the same time. Uh, we're not making use of a router, so let's get rid of this. Okay, we're just giving an IP address, and then we're moving on. Okay, once we're done that, then we're going to go to our main OB. If all of this is closed up, then single click on PLC1 that you just created, single click on program blocks, and then double click on main OB. That creates your main organizational block. We're going to hit control and make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to drop in a couple instructions here. Now in the course, we're starting off with an AND and an OR circuit. But I'm going to build up a three-wire control in front of you. And then we're going to address this guy and then try and make use of PLC SIM. 
and I'll show you one limitation uh, quickly. Again, there's, I'm going to go quickly here. There's more detail in the course on every specific step, but this is to show us how to make use of PLC settings. So I've created a three-wire controller here. We've got a stop, start, a holding contact, and we've got our output. So now I'm going to address these guys. So I'm going to double click here. I'm going to say this is percent %i0.0. Okay, blue is your friend, red is your enemy. Okay, so red is that it's angry at you. Blue is that it, the PLC is saying, gorgeous, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, here I'm going to give another input, percent %input 0.1. Okay, clicking somewhere out here. Again, I'm blue, so I'm good to go. I'm going to give this one percent %q0.0. Come on, dear. There we go. Again, looks good. And here, I've already made that guy, so let's see if I can pick it up. So I'm going to make this the same instruction here. So when this is true, this is true, and I'll have logic continuity all the way through there. Okay, next thing that uh, you're going to do is you're going to right-click on here, rename it, and call this your stop push button. Okay, hit change. So the next thing is I'll show you that all of my students in my classroom do. They will go here and they'll double click on like tag two here and they'll just type in uh, start push button. As soon as they do that, it gets angry at them, right? It gets angry at them because they've eliminated the, um, the address for this tag. And if you hover over this, it says that uh, that the start push button is not defined. So it's totally angry. It just doesn't know where we want to put that in the PLC. So let's undo what we just did. And let's do the proper steps. So we've given it an address. We're going to right click on this. Then we're going to rename this tag. Now we can give it a name. And we'll have the name. And we still um, have the address remaining there. Okay, this guy right here, let's just rename this output zero. Okay, as soon as I do that, then this changes as well. Okay, so my program's done. I now would normally come over here and then right click and then download to device my hardware and software changes, but I don't have a physical PLC. So I'm going to now use PLC SIM. So if you don't have PLC SIM, then go to section uh, 15 of the course. It will show you the, the links for PLC SIM, all the steps in order to download that. So you need two programs, TIA Portal and PLC SIM working in conjunction with each other. If I come over here and I've clicked on online and diagnostics, for example, then when I come up here and try to simulate, there's nothing there for me to click, which is super frustrating. So I'm going to click here on the screen. So I'm clicking here on my main OB. Now I have the ability to now start the simulation. So I'm going to click here and start the simulation. I'm clicking OK. And PLC Sim is going to start up. And you'll see this guy come up. And then right here, uh, there's our IP address that we have in the computer, 192.168.0.10. Uh, and we're going to start a search now. Okay, so it's already chosen, Profinet and PLC SIM. But we're not talking outside of the computer. We're just talking within the actual software here. And it's found the exact same IP address. And it's saying that, beauty, it's a CPU, but it's a simulated CPU. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to hit load. And these pop-ups that come up, they may change from time to time. Just work through them. They may not be exactly as you're seeing as you, these as you're seeing here. So right now we're going to hit load. So we're loading it into our simulated um, PLC. And right here, this is crucial. Make sure that you hit start module. Okay, that's going to start the PLC up in the run mode. Hit finish to finish off. Okay, now we're here. And if I look here. I'm in the run mode. If I go to testing, then it says I don't have an online connection. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and do monitoring on and off. Now I have the same identical things as I'm seeing my PLC sim. If for some reason you had not started the, the PLC up, then you'll see that it's not in the run mode and you wouldn't be able to change anything on the screen. So make sure that you're in the run mode, either here on testing or here within the PLC sim icon. And we're good to go. So now I'm going to show you something that's frustrating as well, in that in this portion of PLC SIM, so again, in section 15, I go through PLC SIM in great detail, uh, making use of the project view, forcing uh, bits and stuff like that. But right here, just in our standard PLC SIM, if I go here and right click here and modify 
and try to change this stop push button to a 1, it's not working. If I try and change my start push button and modify this to a 1, it's not working. I can't physically modify inputs, physical inputs, uh, with this PLC sim. I can't override the input that would normally com be coming into the PLC. So that's one of the limitations here. Again, you can change these inputs, but you have to make use of the project view. I'm just showing you the beginning parts of PLC sim and how to get up and running with the basic portion of the course. Again, go to section 15 for way more detail on PLC sim. Let's turn off our monitoring. Let's turn off PLC sim. We'll make a quick change to our program here. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to rewire this guy. And instead of being a physical input, I'm going to make this a memory bit. So I've changed that to M. I'm going to hit change. So that's a memory bit. And I'm going to right click here, rewire this one as a memory bit as well. And you'll see that I'm, e I'm able to change memory bits within the PLC sim. Okay, coming up here, I'm now going to click on here. Click over here to simulate. Hit OK. I'm then going to start a search. Okay, it's found the exact IP address that I put there. It's a simulated PLC. I'm going to now load that to my PLC sim. Hit load again. I'm going to start the PLC back up again in the run mode and hit finish. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is come up here and go to monitoring on and off. You see green lights here, green here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this to a one. Nice. Now I've got logic continuity to my start push button. I'm now going to modify this guy to a one. And now my output is on. Okay, so everything's cool. I'm able to control my, uh, my, P my program with PLC SIM. You can also make use of factory IO with PLC SIM. You don't have to have a physical PLC to talk to factory IO as well. Follow the steps there in that portion of the course, and it'll show you the exact, you have to download a specific uh, program in order for PLC SIM to talk to factory IO. So hopefully this is working for you in that you can now modify your bits. And now if I modify this guy back to a zero, then everything back goes back to its rest state. There we go. Okay, so everything's working out, and I hope that uh, this clears up uh, any misconceptions that I created at the beginning of the course, uh, and you're able to get up and running with PLC SIM. I really appreciate all the, uh, the feedback, guys, and uh, keep the questions and comments coming, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next portion of the course. Thanks very much.